The thing that I do like about sculpture is you can design a sculpture for any space, whether it's like a design interior or, you know, an outdoor piece or, you know, like an eight inch piece that sits on a pedestal, you know, in, in a house or in someone's collection or, you know, whatever it may be. You can make that piece work within that space any kind of way you want. Like, that's really fun to me, that kind of approach. Uh, so we are casting one of the pieces that sits in the stack. They've already cast a whole bunch. Um, the piece for this work was originally cast out of clay. Then uh, went to 3D modeling. Uh, then we did a 3D print down at the lab, at Supply Frame, and that then got primed and prepped for casting. Now, yeah, we're gonna film the sand casting process. It's Flax Studio uh, in Melbourne. They're a very uh, well-known interior design company. They got invited by the NGV to do an installation. That project, I was really drawn to the stacking elements of traditional totem. You know, over the years, I've just made so many paintings for so long. Um, I'm always interested in, you know, evolving my work and exploring new avenues. And I think for me, it just got to a point where it just kind of got really bored in a sense at the time of just doing hyper detailed paintings, just really intricate work all the time. And, and I've always just been a really big fan of sculptural work. Uh, so I just decided to make the jump one day and kind of just dive into the whole thing. I guess out of the positive objects, they make two half negatives. Uh, one of the interesting things is how much like handwork actually goes into the sand casting. Really intricate process. Um, now we're waiting around 30 minutes for the uh, pour to dry. I mean, it was really, really fun doing the residency with the lab and like having access to that new technology. You, I think you get to a point where you do have limitations and you can only, um, if you're not maybe like hand carving the whole entire sculpture out of clay or something like that. Um, it's just nice to kind of jump into the digital world and be able to develop pieces that need that kind of approach. I think we literally prototyped the entire sculpture um, using the lab. You know, when you start using uh, technology like 3D printing, you can literally like make whatever you want. Piece of plastic over the top. Well, at this phase, we're just doing a dry fit right now, which we've already made all the pins. Then it all gets taken apart again. And uh, it will be put together. That's the wrong one. It's the, uh, that one. And then, we're just seeing that it all fits together. Then after that, um, straight to coloring. Um, 
Don't let go of that. Dude. For the rig, uh, it's Flax Studio uh, in Melbourne. For them, the installation was very much about celebrating Australian culture and it being very Australian. They chose an all like golden hue palette for the entire install, um, which is kind of like a reflection of like the golden age in Australia. The gold rush was happening, there was a lot of wealth. They also referenced things like, you know, like sand, all the sandy deserts in Australia and things like that. I think they were just trying to celebrate that through their installation. So I have a solo show at Over the Influence on April 13th. Uh, it will be my largest sculptural exhibition to date, which is uh, pretty fun. It's uh, really exciting to, you know, release a full series of what I've been working on for quite some time. So yeah, that's, that's what's on the cards for uh, 2019.